because I know you, we're talking about this offline. You just got out of a meeting which included the Ping An people. They happened to ask for your opinion on this uh, demerger spinoff plan. You gave it to them, and then yes. you got flamed bad. <laughs> How well, bad was it? See, Ping An is 8.3% owner of HSBC, and over the years they've collected and amassed uh, that percentage. They have an opinion. Ping An is trying to follow what it did with its own institution. So you've got Ping An, you've got One Connect, you've got Ping An Tech, and they are kind of drinking their own Kool-Aid. If you ask us from a banking perspective, the entire synergy and the entire book that HSBC has been successfully running uh, is a complete, uh, uh, you know, stupidity, if I can use that word, uh, if they try to split it and break it. The entire claim to fame for HSBC is the ability to service multiple customer segments through its multiple books. To split that and say no more investment banking or we are listed in Hong Kong for X and we are listed in the UK for Y, that's just not going to work financially for them. The CFO agrees, well, the CEO agrees. Well. Uh, to, to, to be fair, you know, from Ping An's point of view, I mean, look, this model that you just uh, uh, walked us through, that hasn't worked for more than a decade, has it? I mean, going by HSBC's performance, which is one of the reasons why Ping An, which uh, is the biggest single shareholder, 8.3%, is not happy. True, true. Now, uh, I agree that uh, their dividends and their payouts has been lukewarm. They're still a very large, very profitable bank. They've never really missed the target if you look at the past one decade of performance, uh, they've never really missed it by that many percentage points. They've been consistent in their dividends. Of course, the freeze in dividends was partly regulatory and partly driven, of course, by uh, uh, you know the the central banks. Now, when they when they go back into the dividend payout mode, you would see a much leaner, much trimmer, uh, much faster HSBC. So I think it's unfair to penalize them before they show uh, to the rest of the world that, look, after three years of uh, absence, here we come and our dividends are going to be better than ever before. So I yes. think there is merit in telling them and telling the shareholders that, look, the cleanup, the cost cutting and the investment in technology has paid off.